Well, Gary, ignoring the result, how do you assess the performance today in the heat? <laughs> it's always hard to ignore the result, isn't it? Um, but uh, to answer your question, I thought the performance was OK. I think our supporters would have felt that, uh, the performance was OK because, you know, we keep getting in and we keep sort of getting up to that final third and nearly getting in. We're like nearly men at the minute. You know, we haven't got that extra little bit of toughness extra little bit of quality if you like that the bigger teams have got and uh, our boys have got to learn from that really we competed but it's that it is that cleverness that you you pay for McCormack's been there done it he's scored lots of goals at this level proven he knows what to do and our boys are still learning that you know and uh, hopefully they're seeing some of the opposition players that do can win a game for the opposition and, and they can pick little bits up from them and, and, and be better for it. Yeah. Was Ross McCormack the difference between the two sides today? Well, the, the lad in the middle, Austin, was a strong um, you know, strong midfielder and he kept breaking on us and we wasn't quite strong enough to... We got on the ball a lot, but he was the one that created the opportunities. We didn't create, you know, we didn't have a midfielder that was putting people in for those types of opportunities. Um, so, you know, our boys have to look at that as well. And when they look at the video in the week, they'll see that, um, you know, you've got to drive like he drives, sprinting, and then slide someone else in who's also sprinting at the right time and being clever. And, uh, and that's what's happened today. Mm. You haven't considered that many goals straight after half-time this season. Were, were, no. the, were the two goals avoidable today? Well, I mean, if they were, you'd, you'd do something about it, wouldn't you? Uh, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't... We went out early as well to make yep. sure we didn't, you know, we wasn't sort of on our heels. But um, as I say, the fella made a great drive through the middle of us, our two midfielders, and, and McCormack made a clever little run again, and uh, it got put in, and it was a good strike. You know, it was a fantastic strike. And we never seemed to, we didn't seem to get in on those. But you know, we're going to have to up the budget if you want to get a McCormack in. Mm. And uh, but we'll keep looking. I'm, I was pleased that you know Paddy got his little bit of a. A go today, you know. So hopefully uh, we can have a look at that. Oh, the build-up play was good. There was a lot of good build-up play, but it's that killer instinct, either from your wide men or your forwards or your midfielders, um, as far as that final ball or that shot or whatever it is. That's just what's lacking. You know, we we got a group of nice lads that just haven't quite got that um, will to score a goal enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think we we get it. We will get it when they get to. Yeah, they're within the squad. Yeah, yeah, they need to keep getting slapped round the face like they did today and get beat two 0 and then uh, and then maybe they'll, they'll the penny will drop soon. What did you like about the performance today? Joel after, Grant worked hard, didn't he? Yeah, after the first 20 minutes, I thought we, we we had our shape. We got it up to the forwards. They were working well together. We got in a couple of times, but you know, good defenders don't allow you to get your shots in. We didn't get a shot in, it was always blocked. Good defenders don't allow your centre halves and your set plays to come in and have three headers. Right? We was up there enough times, we had enough corners, but couldn't get in on that. So there's a little bit of everything really. Every one of them's got to up their mentality, they've got to up their game, they've got to up the the will that willingness to go and make sure you win a game. Ed Upson's yellow card was it, well, I suppose on four yellow cards, was it a matter of time before that fifth one? Came and he'll be suspended, I think, next week now. Yeah, we got him. He misses the Somerset Cup. So we're really disappointed about that because we'd like to win that. Um, but that's the situation. He's thinking he misses the Somerset Cup. So he'll be available next week then? Yes, he will. That's a bonus. Well, yes, we, we, whether it's a bonus or not. You, you started off by saying it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's one result we've had here, so. OK, and the good thing, when you went Boston the league last time, you bounced back within a week and you'll be looking to do that next week now against Wigan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we got a, we got a great group of boys and the supporters see that as well, to be fair. And they were fantastic. They, they kept supporting them because, you know, they saw that... They saw against Forest, we got it in us, that killer instinct when we need it, um, when we can bring it out. But you've got t 11, 12, 15 characters out there that... We have to keep working very, very hard to get that will to win, which is maybe why, with all due respect, they are where they are. You know, not at the top of the championship with another team. So, uh, but you know, we, we all know that, and we talk to them, and they all want to improve. They'll all be in the gym on 
on Monday trying to build themselves up ready for the next game because on a few occasions today that Austin was stronger than us when he burst through.